like I said last week, I've started online dating and what better way than to just react to the messages I receive. Disclaimer here, most of the messages were normal. I would say maybe about 70% were just normal and obviously for entertainment purposes, I'm just gonna concentrate on the crazy ones because you don't wanna hear the boring ones. And I don't really wanna drag guys that have just sent nice messages when I'm just not really interested. So it's gonna get a bit sexual. So if you've got young children, get them out of the room. And yeah, I think I'll just start on some of them in no particular order. So the first one, when, when I first read this, it absolutely killed me for about two days. So this guy said, I seek a good ass. You look younger than you say. Don't really know what to say to that. It's kind of like a backhanded compliment at the end, but at least I look younger than my actual age, so I guess that's a plus. <laughs> oh, this dude. He's gonna make an appearance later on. It must be fun spooning you. Well, it is fun spooning me, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. So he kind of got that right, but it's a bit weird for an opener, especially when you don't really know anyone. So yeah, that was a bit strange. This man didn't actually send me a message, but I just thought his profile was funny because he said he was a member of the FBI. And when I investigated a bit more closely, FBI stands for Female Body Inspector. So he's showing his standards right there, isn't he? I found this in post and I don't want it anywhere near me, to be honest. Then that man came back. Um, he, he didn't get the hint when I didn't reply to his message. Um, the one looking for a good ass. He came back with seeking a playful girl. So he didn't really get the hint, but he still kept going and I just ignored him because I wasn't interested still. In general, guys, if a girl does not reply to your first message, don't send a second one. You're wasting your time. The guy came back that said it must be fun spooning you. It's not too sexual. It's a bit weird for a first message, but he kind of thought, well, that didn't work. Let's just ramp this up a bit. And then he sent me the message, do you like getting fingered? So I didn't really know what to respond to that. So I just ignored him because I thought that was a bit personal. <laughs> it just reminds me, it just reminds me of um, Bo Burnham and it's like, sexting. A lot of men, they would send me a message and then they would change their username and send me another message. But of course, when I logged in, all the messages were still there and they just changed their username. It was just really strange. I just get ones that are a bit full on sexual. Damn, you're so sexy hot. You know me, nothing turns me off more than bad grammar. Your beautiful eyes make me want to do very cheeky things. How can you get that from someone's eyes? I, I don't understand men. I don't think I'll ever understand men, ever. A lot of people would just be too honest on their profile, like this guy. Straight up, I suffer from mental health issues, so hopefully you can tame my craziness a little. No one's gonna respond to that. I, I know mental health issues are a, like a serious problem, but don't put that in your profile. It's literally, you just, just don't. Don't be too honest. This guy, he sent me five messages and then I had to block him. I ignore people first of all, because I think it's a bit harsh blocking someone after one message if you just don't want to see them. But this just, this guy just kept going on and on and on. Hi, how are you doing? You look amazing. Then a few hours later, what are you up to? Next day, friends with benefits, question mark. Well, you've already sent me two messages and I haven't replied. I'm not really gonna wanna be up for a friends with benefits situation, am I? Sometimes you just have to put two and two together. Then it started getting a bit creepy. And the, the day after that, he sent, we are so close to each other. And then a love heart. That is starting to get a bit stalk stalkery. That's not a word. He started to get a bit funny. And then the next day he sent thinking about you. And at that point, I literally went round my house, shut all my windows, turned all the lights off and just prayed that he wasn't outside my house and blocked him. You know, on the internet, people say that women are picky and people say that women have unreasonable standards and 
we're not going to dwell on that part of the internet. But I thought I'd draw attention to Vinny. I think Vinny should get his own section in this video because Vinny has a lot of requirements and I think just for entertainment purposes we should just read what Vinny wants in a woman. So I can read but Vinny doesn't choose to put any punctuation in his profile so it's a bit difficult to read this one. Vinny says, to know me you must have all I list. Have lots of other pictures if I think you have all I list. I have favoured you, it means I like you or something about your profile, but I may run out of likes. So only message if you have all I list. One, loyal. Two, not into casual affairs. Three, passionate. This is where Vinny starts to get a bit creepy. Four, you must self pleasure at least twice a day as a single female. Uninhibited. I like how he has to qualify what these words are as if the, the women watching it need to be mansplained. Five, uninhibited, not shy. Six, dress feminine, dresses and skirts. Seven, willing to please. Well, that means suck dick. Come on, Vinny, be obvious here. Eight, devoted. How can you be devoted to someone after one day? Nine, not approved. See, I told you, number seven. Ten, knows how to look after a man and keep him happy. Eleven. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vinny, what are you bringing to the table here? This is all about what I'm giving to you. It's not about anything that you're gonna offer me as a person. 11, always do what you say you're going to do. I have no age preference, although older women tend to understand what I want. I rarely message first, so you must come to me. I do not do casual hookups in big caps. No, no mundane conversations. I think we all need to pray for Vinny and I think we need to set him up a GoFundMe page because this guy is looking for a sex robot this type of woman does not exist. So let's all pray for Vinny because he's gonna be on plenty of fish for a while. A lot of weird ones like this guy. Did you receive my message? And then the day later, can you make an effort? A, a lot of kind of passive aggressive messages from men if I didn't reply or wasn't interested sadly, which you do tend to get if you're online dating. I think what I find is when you're on Tinder because you've matched with someone, 99% of the time you fancy someone and want them to message you but with online dating of course there isn't that kind of barrier and anyone can message you so you do get a few fruit loops that will just send you passive aggressive messages hey how are you doing do you want to meet up i can get you anything i got a few messages of men wanting to buy me stuff and i found this a bit i felt a bit sorry for them because i felt like they didn't have enough confidence in themselves so they felt they had to buy my affection and I just felt that was a bit sad and obviously don't do that. If someone likes you, you don't need to buy their time or affection. Oh, this was another pervy one. A certain photo of yours has had a huge effect on me this morning. I got a lot of early messages from men that obviously had a boner and they just felt well, instead of dealing with that, I'm just gonna message someone on Plenty of Fish. And I wish they hadn't really. I wish they'd just gone on Pornhub and left me alone. I guess men can't help it, can they? They should be able to help it. After a certain age, they should. Surely the brain kicks in at some point and it's not just all about the penis. I mean, does it? Does it kick in? I don't know. Another creepy one. Hi, how about a drive somewhere instead of just chatting for days? I mean, I'm not really looking for Thelma and Louise. I don't really want to go on a drive with a stranger. I just want to go on a date somewhere safe with other people. I don't really want to get in your car and go for a drive. I just don't ask girls to get in your car. I <laughs> you're that David Hasselhoff song <laughs> Oh dear. Would you rather fight a duck-sized horse or 20 duck-sized horses? This guy obviously got this wrong. Because isn't it, it's something, it's something to do with, yeah, it's, it's that joke, isn't it? Something to do with a horse at the size of a duck. And he just said, would you rather fight a duck-sized horse or 20 duck-sized horses? Well, obviously I'd rather fight one. If the option was fighting one or 20, I'm going to go for one. But I think he fucked up that joke there, bless him. In general, guys, don't 
try and be funny in your opening message because I think humour doesn't really come off on online dating straight away. It tends to come off a bit weird, so I would just be normal, first of all. Hi pretty, let's date the next day. See, he texts me at two in the morning. Kisses on your neck. That's just, that's just really weird to just text someone that that you don't even know. Just deal with your boner and stop messaging women on the internet. This one is probably my favorite. I, I dropped the ball on this one. I, in hindsight it's obvious, but I didn't really um, get it, first of all. So, he put as an opening message, fancy an eight. I thought he was trying to be funny and be like, date. No. So I said, what's an eight? And then he texts back, big willy, lol. And this guy's been messaging me for a few days. He just keeps sending me question marks. And then yesterday he just texted me the word eight. And it's like, yeah, I, I know, I know, mate, you have an eight inch penis. I, I get it. Can you just stop texting me that you have an eight inch penis? I, you know, I get it. I'm obviously not interested, okay? So please stop messaging me. Why would you say you were single? Oh, that is a terrible opener. A lot of girls are a bit funny about being single. And obviously I've talked before, there's a lot of shame on girls for being single. It is not a great opener. Don't go out there and say, why are you single? It's the worst opener. She's single because she's single. Just say something else, anything. Kiss me with those lips of your sexy. I get so many guys being pervy about my lips. It's, it's not even a joke. I don't even have them like filled or anything. They're just natural. I had big lips before it was even a thing. And I just get like really pervy comments from people. Men are just disgusting. Hi gorgeous, you're so beautiful. You make me want to stutter. What, 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 what's your name? And how come you're not on the top of a Christmas tree? I thought that's where angels belonged. <laughs> He's put a lot of effort into that. But maybe if it was near Christmas time, I'd fall for that. But in the middle of August, I'm not falling for that. See, here we are, Big Willy. Big Willy's back. Just text me an eight. Be honest. Are you real? I reply back. I am. Are you? Then he texts back. You're fitter than most, lol. <laughs> what is it with these guys and these backhand compliments? Terrible. Oh, I nearly missed, what? why did I nearly miss this one? This was the one that made me do the whole video. He sent this at 8.50 in the morning. Bearing in mind, I had not spoken to this man before and he just texted me, wood doggy. How is that appropriate in any way, shape or form to just send that to a random person? What do you even expect to gain from that? Does he expect people to reply to that? I mean, I don't know. As I say, I will never understand men. They are just a creature on themselves and they just say whatever's in their head. No filter, especially on dating sites. So there we go, that's the video. I hope you liked it. And just gonna show everyone why I'm still gonna die alone, basically. See you soon, everyone. Take care.